Happy Easter, friends. I pray that this finds you well and full of the joy and the life of the risen Christ who comes to us yet again to call us to follow him out of all of the death and decay, out of all of the sin and everything that would hinder us or weigh us down, and to step with him into the life abundant that God provides through resurrection. Indeed, in this Easter season, we are called to follow Christ in resurrection power and new life. Now, even as I say that, I recognize that that is much easier said than done, for there's a lot in our lives, in our life together, that can just quite frankly weigh us down. In fact, I know for many people have uh, approached this Easter season knowing full well its import and its meaning, having experienced that resurrection life before, having known the joy of Easter before, and yet coming to it this year, after all that we've been through, coming to it this year, not quite ready to celebrate and to rejoice. You might be among that crowd of folks who um, want to linger just a little bit longer at the tomb because there's a lot still yet to mourn. There's a lot still yet to grieve. There's a lot still yet that needs um, some acknowledgement of the pain and of the heartache. You might find yourself like Mary Magdalene did in the Gospel of John in that Easter story. I was reading it over again and I was struck by this, verse 11 of John chapter 20. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb and she saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had been lying, one at the head and the other at the feet. And they said to her, woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, they have taken away my Lord and I don't know where they have laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and she saw Jesus standing there, but she didn't know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him and I will take him away. Then Jesus said to her, Mary, and she turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. I'm struck in this story of the resonance that I know many of us have felt in this Easter season still of lingering at the tomb and remembering all that this year has brought us. There's been a lot of grief. There's been a lot of pain both because of the grief, but then also because we haven't quite been able to mourn in the ways that we uh, need to mourn. We haven't been able to touch and to hug. We haven't been able to gather and to remember and to celebrate. We haven't been able to be together in all the ways that we have longed to be together. And yet, even while Mary is still yet weeping at the tomb, even while we have come to this Easter season still grieving in a lot of ways, still mourning in a lot of ways, Jesus still comes to meet us. Even in the midst of hearing the good news that he has been risen from the dead, the one you're looking for isn't here, Jesus comes to meet us right where you are. Jesus comes and Jesus calls your name, calls your name as he calls Mary's name to remind you and I that even in the midst of the grief, resurrection still happens. Even in the midst of the pain, new life still happens. Even in the midst of the sorrow, abundant new resurrection life is still happening and is ready for us when we are ready to take hold of it. 
Jesus comes and says, who are you looking for? And it's an invitation for us to, to name to God, hey, God, this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for uh, an opportunity to gather again together. I'm looking for a reason to sing again. I'm looking for a reason to not feel the same pain that I feel right now, to not be disappointed in the way that I am right now. I'm looking for new hope. I'm looking for new life. I'm looking for deliverance to be set free from something. God, here are all the things I'm looking for. Jesus invites us to give to him those things that we are looking for, and then to hear in his calling and his naming us and his reaching out to us, to hear the invitation that all that you are looking for is right here when you are ready. Friends, I pray that by the grace of God, you will be ready, made ready, to take hold of the resurrection and the new life that Christ offers to you today and every day through the power of the Holy Spirit. May it be so. Amen.